I will discuss about a finite element method in uh, 1D finite element analysis solved in the MATLAB. So this is my code and uh, let's run it, see how it works. So this is the result. Uh, this is the X and this is the temperature. So I am discussing about this, this question. So here is three elements, silicon, germanium, aluminium, and this is the X. So uh, the initial temperature is 300 Kelvin, and this is a uh, wall. So adiabatic wall, there is no temperature. So temperature is rising in here. We have to solve in 1D finite element method. So you can solve uh, not only three elements, you can solve 1,000, 1,000, 1 million element, no problem. So we are discussing how can solve in MATLAB. This is our graph. You can uh, say in uh, also 3D. So uh, I will discuss in uh, two or three uh, tutorials. Uh, let's see my tutorial in MATLAB coding. So this uh, for uh, this is the uh, uh, better I have to uh, uh, revise some theory there so that you can understand how can I discuss it. So first we have to define some Lagrange basis function. I discuss this Lagrange basis function, how to define it, how to discuss it in in one of my video. It calls reg Lagrange basis polynomial solution. Uh, for third order, fourth order, fifth order, or more order, you can you can see it, and you will find the code in there also. And after the Lagrange basis function, uh, we are uh, this is I. So my question is that uh, we have three elements, and number of polynomial order is three. That means n equals to three. So uh, the basis of polynomial is four. Uh, just see my previous video you can understand how this is for and this is the derivation of this polynomial function in there uh, this this is by hand calculation and the elemental stiffness matrix is uh, uh, this one uh, so we have uh, as we our Lagrange uh, number of order is three matrix will be n plus one that means four by four matrix and each one is psi 1 1 psi 1 2 psi 1 3 psi 1 4 and similarly 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 it is increased at like that psi uh, psi i psi j so i equals to uh, number of n plus 1 and j equals to n plus 1 in that way you can form a elemental statement like this so let's uh, talk about the uh, so we check this uh, Lagrange basis function. Uh, this is the uh, this is the matrix solution, and we solve in here uh, by explicit Lagrange form. So this is the explicit Lagrange form. So we solve and find the same result as we solve in matrix form. So that means we are accurate. We get the accurate solution. And this is the some explanation. So I will give the uh, PDF in my website. This is my uh, sorry. This is my website, and uh, go to uh, here to refresh it. Go to here, one D finite element analysis, and you will find Lagrange basis in here. Just click it, and you will find the PDF and download it okay so now uh, in this video we will discuss about uh, about the derivation of Lagrange basis function so this is the explicit formula x minus xm xj minus xm and m should not be equals j that means if m equals to for example I take m equals to 1 and number uh, remember that we take n equals to 3 so 1 to 4 so if j equals to 1 and m equals to 1 that means they are the, the formula is not valid so we have to make confined that m not equals j 
here so uh, we expand this one uh, as we take j equals to 1 and m equals to 2 multiply um, m equals to 3 m equals to 4 this is for uh, uh, first leg range and this is for second this is for third and this is for fourth so when we will derivative it so what, this is the derivation so uh, for example take this one as a this one is b this one is c so when we'll derivative by uh, with respect to x so it will be d a by dx that means this one so i derivative it multiply these two plus and now it will come the b so b uh, the b form is one this one that means this is constant so when you derivative this one dx by dx that means this is one and this is zero and similarly plus this one so this one also be one so in this way you will find the derivation so when we code in the matlab we have to remember that we have to produce this one as a automatic function so for that we take this uh, this function for example this one as j and this one as for as k take it as the k and for this separate function we take this one as this is the same one so we take j and this one is for m so and you also remember that if i take this as m m should not be equals k as well as not j so we uh, formulate this function we say that 1 by x j minus x k and k should not be j uh, because if you put uh, j in here that means the function is invalid and again the k limit is 1 to n plus 1 you see here uh, 1 2 3 uh, okay and that means 4 n plus 1 that means 4 and multiply uh, this one and m should not be j m should not be k so let's go to matlab and we will derivative it how to derivative it so this is our matlab code so uh, for um, we take a temporary value it says temp1 equals to 0 and say that k equals 1 length of x x so what is the length of x x here so length of x x uh, it depends on the length of x x it's a line space that means my uh, my structure is 0 to 1 let's go there 0 to 1 and if i divide it into 5 that means here you see 1 2 3 so that will be 0 to 1 and the line space will be 3 right so this is the xx it's the variable of x that means each each of the each of the portion length that means 0 1 by 3 2 by 3 and 1 so it is a vector right okay so here uh, we define line space this is from uh, for my project i define it as a automatic function from the grid generator i will discuss the grid generator later so my input is x and this is xx and z from from the matrix uh, so let's get, go there uh, here so the my input is j and j and xx and x okay so we take uh, a variable temp1 and say that k it comes from the length of x so if the length of x x is 4 so it will come 1 to 4 and we say that if j equals k then continue that means it will come directly in there and again go temp one again give the zero that means they are zero and use that means if not j equals k then it will come here it's a, it will take temp one equals to one and then and then 
it will go to for m equals to 1 to length of x axis that means 1 to 4 again it's not equals j not equals k that not equals in MATLAB is like that and say it will take the temp to as x minus x x m that means this one slash x x j x x m multiply temp to that means it will add again and again that means we are we are finding this this portion this portion again and again in in this loop in this loop so and then after we get this loop we find this loop now the second one is to multiply this loop and this loop so uh, so we take the the temp one this one temporary value this one plus temp two that means this one multiply one by x j minus x x k that means this one x j minus x k and it should be in the k loop okay so it is in the k loop you see the k loop in there and the m loop is there it is the m loop and this is the k loop okay and at the end you say that uh, derivative of psi equals to temp one that means you are calling this one so it will uh, at the end it will add again and again and again that means uh, this one again plus this one again plus this one okay so that's it so in the next tutorial i will talk about uh, gus legendary and uh, the grid generator function thanks for watching the video